Hi there guys, Sasha here from TT Liquor. Today I'm joined by my really good friend Kay and we're going to talk a little bit about non-alcoholic spirits. What makes them, how to use them and frankly what they are. So Kay, why don't you take it away and tell us a little bit more about it. Sure. So if you've been anywhere near a bar in the last few years, it will have been pretty much impossible to ignore the meteoric rise of non-alcoholic spirits. Since arriving on the scene around seven years ago, the non-alcoholic spirit category has grown exponentially, both in popularity and variety. And with drastic changes to drinking culture during the pandemic, between 2020 and 2021, the industry grew by over 110%. So here at TT, we've been using non-alcoholic spirits since they first appeared on the market. They're a great asset to our cocktail classes, allowing us to give guests a full experience even when they're not drinking. We serve non-alcoholic cocktails in both our bars and we sell non-alcoholic spirits in our liquor store. But we've never really stopped to ask what makes a non-alcoholic spirit. So we invited some of the leading producers and purveyors of the non-alcoholic spirit industry down to TT Liquor to see if they could shed a little more light and help us answer the question, what is a non-alcoholic spirit? Okay, so I mean legally, in the UK at least, it's got to be below 0.5%, so that's number one. As we know it, spirits, when you, you burn off your alcohol, it becomes a vapour and it goes into the spirit world. I mean, a non-alcoholic spirit is, pretty much does what it says in the tin, it's a spirit without alcohol, but it's a bit, um, it's difficult for people to understand or explain because it's such a relatively new category compared to pretty much any other drinks category. If you think of wine or gin or cognac, like any of these that's been around forever. The non alcoholic Spirits category was born in 2015. So that's like six years ago. It's really not that long ago. And so, you know, it takes some getting used to and some, some time to kind of explain actually what it is. Yeah, it's a good question. Uh, we get asked all the time what a non-alcoholic spirit is. And on the surface, I guess it kind of sounds a bit of an oxymoron, kind of like gluten-free bread or the Impossible Burger. Um, but it's not, it's much more than that. And so we are a distilled non-alcoholic spirit for a number of reasons. Um, we are distilled in a similar way to traditional spirits, so alcoholic spirits like gin and vodka. Um, we still use copper pot stills uh, in our production now. Uh, we just have a few other steps to the process and a few proprietary distillation techniques that we use to remove that alcohol. Uh, and what it gives us at the end is a beautiful, clear, shelf-stable liquid that behaves like an alcoholic spirit but just has none of the alcohol. A non-alcoholic spirit is generally uh, a base liquid that has been distilled. Sometimes they will take a, a neutral grain spirit, like an ethanol, um, and distill that several times over to remove the alcohol. But more often than not, you can use something really basic like, like water with herbs, um, and you can bring that up to boiling point, distill it, and you're, you end up with something which is actually technically called a hydrosol which is um, quite delicious in its own right. So on the surface, it seems pretty simple. A non-alcoholic spirit is a liquid which can be used in place of a regular spirit and which is made in the same way as an alcoholic spirit, through distillation. Distillation is a process involving the conversion of a liquid into vapour, which is subsequently condensed back into liquid form. Distillation is used to separate liquids from non-volatile solids, as in the separation of alcoholic liquors from fermented materials, or in the separation of two or more liquids with different boiling points. So is distillation what defines a non-alcoholic spirit? Not quite. The distillation side of things was kind of key. But now that we get a lot more companies that have come to the fore that make non alcoholic spirits, but in new and non-traditional manner. So not always with distillation, because to be fair, I don't think it's the best way of doing it. For us, I think it's trying to be a bit more open-minded about how you can use the product. Um, how it is made is, you know, maybe a bit of a red herring. So especially with, with non alk I strongly believe that Distillation is one method to extract flavour from raw material and it's really bloody good for alcohol, for obvious reasons. But when it comes to non-alc, why limit yourself to just one extraction method? So at Three Spirit, it's really important for us to explore multiple options depending on what the raw material is and basically what we're trying to achieve from extraction from said raw material. So, for instance, what makes us quite unique is that we care about flavour and function. And to extract functional compounds from plant material, 
Maybe the worst way to do that is distillation because that's just extracting the volatiles and you're leaving all of the heavy compounds behind. We're actually really interested in some of those heavy compounds. So when it comes to extracting things for aromatics and volatiles, we might use distillation. But when it comes to trying to extract ingredients for their function, we might use uh, dry powder extraction or an ethanolic extraction because different solvents pull different things out of plant material. We use the term non-alcoholic botanical mash because what we're doing is slightly different to um, the kind of white spirit, I don't want to use the word imitation drinks, but ours is a mash. It's basically similar to, if you imagine how moonshine is made, you might have heard the term mash used in the production of moonshine, so they'll take the ingredients used in moonshine, create the mash, which is the base liquid, and they will then go on and ferment that liquid and distill it into, into moonshine. So we take a botanical mash and we don't ferment it and we don't distill it. We just uh, let it steep for a long time and the botanicals will marry and create this really sort of complex flavor profile in the cask. So it can get a little bit complex, but I think you know, why should we be so narrow-minded with the definitions of non-alc spirits? I think it's really, a, we should celebrate the creativity that can go into creating something that is relatively new and the category still hasn't really been defined. Perhaps it's a little more complex then. If distillation isn't what defines a non-alcoholic spirit, what is? I think it's a really good question because there's different ways to look at it and answer it and different people will have strong views. So, you know, I understand people that might question if a non-alcoholic spirit could be called a spirit and should it be just because it is exclusively distilled that makes it a spirit. It's, it's essentially kind of replacing that alcohol moment for when you don't fancy a drink or, or those who don't drink. A non-alcoholic spirit to me is something that you can use like you would use a traditional spirit. Simple as that. It seems then that what defines non-alcoholic spirits is their function rather than their form. Whilst existing spirit categories can be easily defined by their origins or their manufacturing processes, non-alcoholic spirits are designed not to be any one thing, but to emulate something, namely spirits, in taste, use, and to an extent, effect. This category's ambiguity might be its main strength. By not being limited by the strict regulations of traditional spirits, producers are able to get creative in the ways in which they manufacture their products and the flavors and effects that they possess. So, to sum up, non-alcoholic spirits can be made in a number of ways, from distillation to maceration to more inventive techniques. They use a variety of ingredients to achieve flavour and effect, but they all have the same aim, which is to be an alcohol-free alternative to a traditional spirit, whether that's in a cocktail, in a mixed drink, or just on their own. So, to put it simple, a non-alcoholic spirit is a non-alcoholic liquid that you can use in place of a spirit? Essentially, yeah. But there's not really any kind of legal definition to them. This is kind of ever-evolving, so if you disagree with this or you have any questions or queries, please leave them in the comments and we'll try and address them in a future video.